वेलकम एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डे एस मुंडे वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग एंड फूड इंजीनियरिंग के के वाघ कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी नासिक सो इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी फ्रिक्शन इन एग्रीकल्चरल मटेरियल्स कंटेंट this in this lecture we will cover static friction kinetic friction rolling resistance angle of repose angle of internal friction so these are all the frictional properties of the biological material so in this particular video lecture we will discuss about the friction and then in the subsequent Uh, video lecture we will discuss about the angle of repose so starting with the friction frictional properties such as a coefficient of friction and angle of repose are important in designing of storage bins hoppers chutes pneumatic conveying system screw conveyors forage harvesters threshers etc also the rolling resistance or maximum angle of stability in rolling of round shape agricultural materials is useful in designing handling equipment for example conveying conveying of fruits and vegetables by gravity flow in mechanical and pneumatic conveying systems the material in mechanical and pneumatic conveying systems the material generally moves or slide in direct contact with the trough casing and other competent component of the machine the various parameter affect the power requirement to drive the machine among these parameters the frictional losses is one of the factors which must be overcome by providing additional power to the machine hence the knowledge of frictional properties of agricultural products will be discussed here so this diagram shows the concept of friction a block is placed on a horizontal surface the weight of the block acts in a downward direction so where f is the applied force and where friction of force fr is is equal to mu into n so this this is one of the important parts of the friction that is law of friction the first law of friction is that frictional force is proportional to the normal load the second law of friction is frictional force is independent of the area of the sliding surfaces third law of friction is frictional force depends upon the nature of the material in contact the fourth law of friction is the friction force may be regarded as being composed of two main components a force required to deform and sometimes shear the asperities of the contacting surfaces and a force required to overcome adhesion or cohesion between the surfaces the next law of friction is the friction force is depends upon the sliding velocity of the contacting surfaces because of the effect of the velocity on the temperature of the contacting materials the friction force depends on the nature of the materials in contact and the next law of friction is the friction is not dependent on the surface roughness except in the extremes or very fine and very rough surfaces friction if as we are talking about the friction friction is divided into two types that is static friction and kinetic kinetic or kinematic friction first we will study static friction 
so what is static friction the frictional forces acting between surfaces at rest with respect to each other are called forces of static friction the static force of friction is necessary to start motion and once the motion is started the frictional forces usually decreases so that a smaller force is required to maintain motion so this diagram or picture shows the concept of static friction so static friction is the opposing or resisting force between two solid surfaces at this friction there is no any movement or no any frictional force acting between surfaces at rest with respect to each other so the next kinetic friction the friction forces existing between the surfaces in a relative motion are called forces of kinetic friction the ratio between the force of friction f and the force normal to the surface of contact w is given by the equation mu is equal to f by w so where mu is called the coefficient of friction f is the force of friction w is the weight of the body acts in a downward direction the coefficient of friction is also given by the tangent of the angle of the inclined surface upon which the frictional force is tangential to the surface and the component of the weight normal to the surfaces are acting so thank you so in this way in this particular video lecture we uh, covered the introduction about the friction that frictional properties what is their what is their importance then friction and its type of friction and the important part of this lecture is that the laws of friction thank you